Okay, we have some paintbrushes, but I have a couple of these if you want to try that also. And if you guys want some help, yeah, a pie. Stencils. <laughs> Lots of stencils. Yes. The number one design that we have, we call it a tuck tuck, but it's a triangle. And everything is pretty much based on that in some form. And once you start drawing triangles, she'll go, oh my gosh. That is that's it. The triangle is is the basis of our whole being. This is our visual vocabulary. It's so cool. My, I, mean, I, I, I have to do stuff like that. Not like, I can't my actual that. profession is a cultural activities coordinator. So I spend my time identifying activities that are not only traditionally relevant, but also culturally relevant. Sometimes that cultural event is a traditional activity like napping arrowheads out of obsidian. Sometimes it's incorporating cultural designs or traditional designs using acrylic paint on a canvas from Walmart. <laughs> this one here is this one right here, see? Takunev Yehuda. Yeah, that means they're going up the hill. When I was young, it was uh, elders sitting there telling us. Now, uh, young people don't have those elders. So I've got to try to figure out ways to transmit and give what I was given. Yeah, don't you have your hard hat on? And it's really nice to see that this younger generation of Native people has awakened. And they too are wondering about this thing called traditional knowledge. The gift I had of growing up here, the gift I had of having a million relatives, it seemed like a burden maybe when I was younger. Like, ugh, it's like it made everything, life was so inconvenient where I lived. When I got older, I appreciated it and I was really grateful I was raised here. Because the more I learn Kaduk, the more I speak Kaduk, the more I see the world in a, in a Kaduk way. So I hopefully my kids will grow up and appreciate that too. I think they will. Julian Lang became my teacher because he saw that I had a passion for it. And in the sacrifices he's made to keep the language alive, I, I really honor that and respect that because there are the handful of people like him that hadn't decided to just put their whole lives on hold and um, be with those elders in those last few years of their life. Our language would be dead. We have an old saying that when elders pass away, lots of songs are gone now. Like watching all these species of birds dying. That is a loss that can't be recaptured in a way. We should preserve as many, as many languages and bird species as we can. There are maybe five fluent speakers left. The whole world, this whole planet, maybe five. Is Kaduk ever going to be the primary language for this stretch of the Klamath River again? If you're looking at it from this point right now, probably not. But then if you go to the perspective well, my kids will be able to speak to their kids in Kaduk. I hope so, that they can at least try. In my lifetime, I just want to see people understand that they have the choice. They can choose to pursue their language, pursue their cultural identity, and make that effort. That's what I'd love to see.